I want to read another document to you. It is called God Tempting Us. What you have to understand, God is going to allow us to be tempted. Even when you start to follow the rules and regulations of the Bible, God is going to allow us to be tempted. Many people believe that their troubles are over once they begin to serve God. In fact, your troubles begin. Myself, I had troubles when I was in sin. When I repented and totally devoted my life to God, I still get so many temptations, more than I ever received in my life. It is crazy. It makes a lot of sense. Why does it make a lot of sense for me to get attacked more than I did in the past? When you are in sin, demons are not going to mess with you much. Some people don't understand this. Of course, they are going to intervene in your life. Demons are not going to mess with you as much as true followers of Jesus Christ. When you become a follower of Jesus Christ, you are a threat to demons. When you are in sin, you are a help to demons. Does that make any sense? How are you helping demons when you are in sin? If you are not serving God, you are on this side. You are on the side of demons. You are ministering to other people whether you are conscious of it or not. Everyone is influenced by someone or something. When you are in sin, you are helping demons influence people to disobey God. You may think that people are smarter than that. You may think that people are not sheep. The majority of people want to fit in. Even if they don't like something, a lot of the time, people will do it just to fit in. <laughs> Does that make any sense? The best thing to do is to stay out of sin, repent of your sins, and conquer the temptations that God is allowing to happen to you. Any temptation that God allows to happen to us, we are able to handle it. We find out in 1 Corinthians 10 and 13, any temptation that comes our way is common to humans. Also, God provides a way for us to escape our temptations. How do we escape our temptations? By following the rules and regulations of the Bible. If we follow the rules and regulations of the Bible, our temptations will become much more easy to conquer. To conquer. Most of us may pray to God, asking him, why is he allowing certain things to happen to us? We have to know any temptation that happens to us, it is something that we can handle. God wants us to know how loyal we are to him. God wants us to figure out, or God wants to know, yes, how loyal we are to him. God already know how loyal you are to him. If he doesn't give us temptations, how would we know how truly, how much we truly love him? We have to understand that God is the king of all. Being the supreme king, supreme king, he can do whatever he likes. If he wants to double our temptation, he can. If he wants to slaughter all of us in a second, he can. You only have two options. Either serve or overthrow God from his position. Since overthrowing God is impossible, you can only revolt against God. You will fail, just like Satan and his demons, maybe even worse. 
Okay. 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. So God is going to tempt you, but he is always going to make a way to escape. So our life is just a huge test. That's all it is. So I really hope you understand this. God bless.